expect the unexpected. Um, I am going to come with my band. We're going to play a wonderful crossover show from classical to musical to um, film music, R&B, rock music. And I have wonderful musicians who tour with me, me for the last 10 years. It's a little bit of an anniversary. And um, well, it's going to be quite exciting because for the first time we also um, prepared a video content which uh, works perfectly together with the music. So I hope people are going to be very excited. I am very blessed that uh, in my whole life of touring all around the world, um, audiences have been always very responsive to uh, my shows, uh, classical and crossover. I do have to say that, uh, especially when I do come to, to Russia, uh, the, um, there's always some extra excitement because for me it's, uh, it's a wonderful country to play and it has so much history and so many great composers that for me it's, it's always a privilege and an honor to be there. Well, I kind of go with my own guts and with my own taste when I choose repertoire. Of course, it also needs to work. It needs to make sense. Um, but in the end, um, whatever I play, first and foremost comes from what I think works on the instrument and is fun and the audience will like. Well, the instrument kind of found me, <laughs> which is always the best part. Uh, I was playing a show in, in Switzerland and I got a phone call if I wanted to check out a beautiful Stradivari. And of course I said yes. And I started playing on it and it was really uh, an instant connection. So of course I asked if the violin was for sale and uh, that's how uh, I got the instrument. And for me, it's, it's been my partner for the last nine years. Um, I like to listen to everything because I think in the end, you need to be inspired. You need to listen to a lot in order to also create your own sense of style. And inspiration is also, you, you gotta be adventurous also with uh, your mind and what you listen to. I have to admit that still my favorites are based in the classical music world, from Rachmaninoff to Tchaikovsky to Beethoven and Bach. I think every music, even pop, rock, jazz, is, is built on those giants. So for me, this is the foundation of, of literally all we have today. I don't think you notice changes. Of course, you, you evolve with what you like, um, but you also evol evolve in uh, what you create. I, I couldn't say that I liked one year ago this and, and today I don't. I think it's, it's something which you don't notice. It just happens. Oh, there are huge compliments. In the end, it's uh, very flattering. But on the other hand, it also is a responsibility to still always deliver a great project the next year, which is, of course, fun. Both of them are great because both of them actually created something entirely new on their instruments. The violin was never the same instrument after Paganini um, as it was before. And same with Jimi Hendrix. They literally leaped a thousand uh, kilometers into the air and uh, they are geniuses. So both of them in their own way. I think my dreams have changed over the last couple of years in the direction of friendships, inner peace, um, being able to enjoy every second, not getting nervous, not being tense, all these things which of course when you're young and you want to do everything, um, kind of also have a little bit of negativity in them. So for me, in order to enjoy life to the fullest, which I think everybody should do, you need to take those ne negative aspects out. So you always have to try to be um, in a good mood. You always have to try to enjoy every little thing. If it's an interview, if it's practicing, even if it scales, you need to enjoy every single moment because it's worth it. I, uh, I'm sitting here right now and uh, working right now on, on the next album, on the next project, but after I come out of the studio and after I do a couple of interviews, uh, for me, it's, it's all about nature. It's all about going for a walk, um, getting fresh air and, and recharging the batteries. Pretty simple. Well, I think it's very important to sleep a lot uh, in order to have good energy. So I, I like to sleep. I like to um, 
relax in the sense of also doing sports. Uh, if it's going for a ride on the bicycle or going for a walk, you know, that's very important to always have impressions which give well the last performance which just stuck into my mind was uh, a recording we actually did in Verona at the um, a big arena um, it was quite amazing because that theater is there for over 2000 years and being part of, of that kind of history and playing uh, the music I created together with my team in such a historic venue kind of gave, gave I wish I could just pack up a big ball of borscht and uh, take that with me home. But unfortunately, you're only allowed to take that much of liquid these days. <laughs> so that's unfortunate.